Hey, hello everybody. Today's video was going to be just a sunset from Samara and Costa Rica from when we were there in 2019. Uh, and then I realized people might want more information. The sunsets there are phenomenal. They're top shelf. So the video is a little bit bigger now. It shows you kind of things you can do in the area, places you could get some need at, and a little bit more information. So without further ado, let's take a jump to the left and a step to the right and time warp this sucker back to 2019 Samara, Costa Rica. We flew out of Toronto to the Liberia airport in Costa Rica. It was about a five hour flight. From there it was a bus ride about two hours to the resort. You're going to want to get a drink or two for the ride. <laughs> it's a long ways. It's located in the Nicoya Peninsula in Costa Rica and we stayed at the Hotel Azura which was an upgrade from Air Canada and very nice. Uh, it was just kind of like a grand opening then so this place is just, just built and it's got nice ocean views pools, you name it, the food was good. It's about a 20 minute walk into town right down the beach into the town of Samara. Uh, just a note that we probably never would have stayed here. This is totally out of our price range, what we would look for, but uh, when you're given a free upgrade, you take it and you smile. So that's what we did. Over the years, we've had a lot of nice rooms, but we've never had remote control blinds in a room before. That was the first. If you look through the glass there on the right hand side, you'll see a tub out there. And the furniture on the balcony was really comfortable. There's also an ocean view. And you also get a pool view down there. So not bad for a free upgrade. At some point you're probably going to want to go into town. So if you walk out to the beach and then crank a right. And you'll walk about 20 minutes. And you'll end up in the beach town of Samara. You're going to see some horses along the way. They run kind of wild um, all by themselves. You'll see them walking from time to time. You'll see crabs. Uh, they're out quite a bit and then uh, you'll walk by a bunch of Airbnbs and shops. We ended up at Frank's which is owned by a Canadian guy and uh, they had some good snacks there, some good drinks. I love that sign there. The place is actually called Frank's Hidden Beer Garden although it's not too hidden. Every once in a while these two guys will come in and play some live music. I tried this beer out. It's uh, different than the Imperial but it was still pretty good. Here's Frank's commitment. Hungry, we'll feed you. Thirsty, we'll get you drunk. Lonely, we'll get you drunk. Then we went to Coco's, which is a Mexican restaurant, and it's paired up with a brewery. It's called uh, Dos Gringos Artisan Brewing. It's the next door kind of thing. They're happy hours from 5 to 7 every day. Food was really good. We love that they built the building around the trees that were existing. And uh, we would go back there. We actually, the food was uh, reasonably priced and it was good. As far as nightlife on the resort, there wasn't a whole lot to do uh, other than the bar, which was good. Um, most of the people that were there the same time we were, were very social. Everybody liked to drink and have a good time. Um, here you'll see the bartender, Raul, uh, working some of his magic. They did have a live band there the one night, and the music that they played down at the bar was quite varied. So uh, if you didn't like the music that was being played right now, if you waited 15 minutes or so, you probably would. Uh, here you see Raul making the pyramid shot here for our group there was nine of us I had a really good time there um, and you can probably tell that by the volume of my voice here so let's say drinking's not your bag there's other things to do you can always hang out by the pool Go down to the beach, hang out there, go for a walk in a town, maybe take the bicycles that the resort provides in a town. Check out the horses along the way. <clears throat> They're on, in town all over on the beaches. Uh, there's other wildlife along the way as well. And dogs, there's lots of stray dogs around there. So if you're a dog lover, um, no problem there. You can always hit on the statues. And if you go to this uh, island here, Isla Chora, there's pink sand on that beach, which is kind of cool. Um, you can take a kayak out there or you can do a tour, but do not swim out there because there's undertoes in front of it. At low tide, you can also walk to the left around. You see where those trees are on the left and the water will get low enough that you can actually walk over there, but you need to be careful. The rocks are jagged and uh, high tide will come in, so you've got to be aware of that. Another thing you can do on the resort is play hide and seek with the iguanas. You'll see a couple of different varieties of them here. They're all over the place, uh, just like pretty much anywhere when you go south. 
Something else that was pretty cool is we saw howler monkeys, about a five minute walk off the resort to the left down the beach. You'll see a path, just follow it up there. These things are named howler monkeys for a reason. You can really hear them screaming. So that's not somebody being attacked, that's the actual howler monkey. Uh, there's macaws, uh, at night you'll see coatis, which is kind of like a raccoon. Kind of a funny story about those. Um, for those who don't know, I'm missing a front tooth from a hockey stick in the face. And uh, when we were in Mexico, coatis could get on our balcony and I left my false tooth out on the uh, table out there and they stole it. So I had to go the rest of the vacation with uh, no front tooth. As you walk around the paths and around the resort, you're just going to see lots of nice plants. Uh, there's no shortage of that. There's Nature's abundant around here. If you really like nature, Costa Rica is a great country to visit. Something else that's pretty close is uh, Turtle Preserve. So you can go there for the day. Uh, they'll teach you a little bit about the turtles and why it's important to help them out. And then you can release some turtles at the end of the day. So a lot of people like to do that. One thing I wished I would have tried was surfing. There's a number of places you can take lessons and you rent boards right on the beach. The waves aren't crazy. Um, something I've always wanted to try, I, for some reason, just didn't get around to it. As the day winds down, you'll find everybody drawn towards the ocean uh, to watch the sunset. It's just uh, one of the nicest sunsets I've ever seen. We were there for a week in December, and I believe there's only one day where we didn't see the sun go down. So this is kind of a compilation of, uh, I think, five or six different days of sunsets while we were there. Um, I could stare at that all day, unfortunately, once it starts to go down, it, it's gone quickly. But uh, when I talked about this video at the very beginning, uh, my original intent was just to show the sunset. So without uh, any more delay, here is uh, the reason I started this video in the first place. So I hope you enjoyed this. I uh, hope it gives you a good idea of what to expect uh, if you do visit Samara in Costa Rica and some things you can do in the area and why you might want to uh, check that place out. If you take a second to like the video, subscribe if you're not already subscribed, and click the bell for notifications to find out when we post another video. All those things help us grow our channel. they greatly appreciated. Thanks. Yeah. Refill it, yeah, yeah, with that filter thing. That's yeah. cool. I love that. I know, that's what I said. We should have kept our bottles. 
I just wish they had a margarita button on that machine. <laughs> yeah. Frozen or all nice. Or a nacho cheese button. <laughs> <laughs>